At this morning's Mass, the last of the Year of Grace 2023, the last word as found in St. Luke's Gospel was be vigilant. And the first of this new year of grace as found this evening in St. Mark's Gospel is similar. Keep watch. Don't be caught sleeping. What is this vigilance all about? Simply stated, Christ is asking us to be spiritually alert and watchful so as to always be prepared for his coming. But this state of preparedness can be misconstrued and misinterpreted today. Because if we were to go down the hill and ask the people going from store to store at Mashby Commons, instead of being here at Mass, what it is they think they're doing, they'll likely tell us they are preparing for Christmas. And while that very word should speak of the appearance of Christ, sadly, it is more likely that they are getting ready to celebrate a Christmas that's largely void of anything but perhaps the most distant connection to him. So the vigilance and the preparedness that is actually being prescribed is not that of how many shopping days till Christmas, but rather it's telling us to cultivate a mindfulness of Jesus Christ and his appearance, his appearance in time, his presence now, and his pending final coming. Indeed, whatever the secular world under commercial influences may be saying or doing, we aren't yet celebrating Christmas. Rather, we're just beginning Advent with its constant reminder that Christ who came once in history, comes now in mystery, and will come again in glory. So Advent invites us to look back and see how the faithful remnant of the people of the first covenant prepared for the coming of the Messiah. And Advent invites us to place ourselves in their shoes as we await the unknown yet certain day of Christ's return in glory, a day when he will come as judge of the living and the dead, a day to be anticipated actually more with joy than with dread. But that could only be the case if we are watchful, if we are vigilant and so ever ready to stand before him. And that is only possible if we prepare by the kind of honest self-assessment that might result in us making amends, extending forgiveness, making restitution, indeed doing whatever it is necessary. Indeed, stay awake, wait and watch for that day. Thus, this Advent purple reminds us that this is a season of preparation through repentance and reconciliation more than holiday merrymaking. But as much as Advent invites us to begin this new year by looking to the past in order to be well prepared for the ultimate future, we shouldn't forget that it also urges us to be more mindful of the present moment, awake and aware of the coming of Jesus Christ among us today, right here and now. Indeed, if Christ were to return for his final time on this Monday, I'm guessing there'd be many who would be saying, Lord, Lord, remember me? But how could he? They're not here. And yet, they expect to be members of his kingdom. But unless Jesus is more merciful than we can imagine, why wouldn't he rightfully ask, gee, you want to spend all eternity with me? Yet as promised, I was right down the street 
each and every time the Mass was celebrated, and you seldom, if ever, came to encounter me or to receive me. So as people of Advent faith, we prepare to celebrate Christ's coming, yes, once in history on the 25th of December, and commit ourselves to be more vigilant in our preparation for him to return in future glory. But let us never fail to seek him here and now as he comes to us in sacramental mystery, because he gave us not a suggestion, an actual command when he said, do this in memory of me. As we obey him, let us be aware of and assured of the power of his presence right here, appreciating the great privilege of being invited into communion with him here and now, and so rightly preparing to be united with him forever in his kingdom.